Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at Lambda at Edge. A lot of companies have turned to CDNs like CloudFront to cache content on dispersed servers located at the edge. And users can expect faster load times and less load on the origin server. But what if you need to bring the code and its computing closer to users? This is where Lambda at Edge can help. At first, I will introduce Lambda Edge functions, benefits and how it depends on CloudFront events. Also, I will try to describe what is difference between AWS Lambda and Lambda at Edge. And before using AWS Lambda at Edge, you should know something about its limits and its use cases, so we will look at that also. And then we will get to the main part for a little demo in AWS Management Console. As a last thing, I will try to describe how the pricing for Lambda at Edge works. So what is Lambda at Edge? Basically, it allows you to run code across CloudFront Edge locations globally without provisioning or managing servers responding to end users at the lowest network latency. You just upload your code to AWS Lambda and configure your co function to be triggered in response to CloudFront events. The code is then ready to execute across AWS and lo Edge locations globally. So. Basically, it means that you have to use CloudFront CDN. If you are using anything else, you are not able to basically use the AWS Lambda at Edge. And the benefits of Lambda at Edge? You get simple and managed computing at the Edge. You can automatically scale and run your code in AWS locations around the world without deploying or managing any servers. You can add new functionalities without making any changes to existing applications running on the origin server. So for instance on S3 or EC2 instances. And you get lower latency for these apps because Lambda at Edge runs your code in AWS at Edge locations and not in the regions itself. And you get to customize your content at the edge. So with Lambda at Edge, you can customize the content delivered through CloudFront CDN and you can select the computing resources provided. Thus, com customizing execution time based on your application performance needs. And what events of CloudFront you can use to trigger Lambda at Edge? First, you can use view requests, and these are events that occurs when an end user or a device on the internet makes an HTTP request to CloudFront. Then you can use view responses. This event occurs when the CloudFront server at the edge is ready to respond to the end user, and you can use origin request. And this event occurs when the CloudFront Edge server does not already have the request object in its cache and the view request is ready to be sent to your backend origin server. And as a last thing, you can use origin response. And this event occurs when the CloudFront server at the edge receives a response from your backend origin web server. So what is the difference between AWS Lambda and Lambda at Edge? The difference is that AWS Lambda is a regional service and if you need to use it globally, you can deploy it yourself to multiple regions around the world or you can leverage Amazon CloudFront CDN. If you use it for internet related apps, you usually use it with Amazon API Gateway. AWS Lambda is also widely used internally in the AWS environment. Using Lambda at Edge and Amazon CloudFront allows you to execute logic automatically across multiple AWS Edge locations based on where your end viewers are located. This is the main difference between Lambda and Lambda at Edge. 
and also AWS Lambda at Edge has some specific use cases on which we will look later in this video. And here are some limits of Lambda at Edge. At this moment you are only able to use it with specific versions of Node.js and Python. And some features of AWS Lambda are not supported. For example, you cannot access any resources inside your VPC with your functions and you cannot use Lambda environment variables and layers. And AWS X-Rate is also not supported and some more features that you can see here. And what about Lambda at Edge use cases? One of the biggest benefits of using Lambda at Edge is to improve cage hit rates either by increasing the likelihood that content will be caged when it is returned from the origin or by increasing the availability of content that is already in a cage. The second use case here is dynamic content and it's for your content like images and creating of redirections. You can dynamically generate content based on requests or responses. And the third one is security and Lambda at Edge can also be used to handle custom authentication and authorization like sign requests to custom origins that enforces the access control and you can add some security headers to the responses. The fourth one and the last one is origin functions. And in some cases, the origin requires additional request and response logic. You can, for instance, create a user-friendly URLs or manage authentication and authorization for origin requests. And manipulate URLs or requests. And for our demo, let's look at how to deploy the first Lambda at Edge function. The first thing you will notice is that you will not find this service in the AWS console. This is because it is a little bit different from a lot of other services like Amazon S3 or Amazon EC2 or CloudWatch. We will create a simple Node.js function that redirects users from non www to the www domain. So let's look at how the Lambda at Edge function is created in the AWS Management Console. So we are in the AWS Management Console and first thing what I want to do is go through what I already have here. So I will go to route 53. I already have one hosted zone here for my testing domain, which we will use today. And I will just go through my records here, exactly to two records. One record is for my, my test domain, so it's my test 2022.cf and it goes to CloudFront and the second record, which is necessary here, is www.mytest2022.cf and it should go to CloudFront Domain 2. So these two records are necessary and if you don't have them on your site, you will need to create them. And I will go to CloudFront now. And I already have my CloudFront distribution here and root 53 is pointed to it. And as you can see, I have my alternate domains here. So there are two of them and it goes to my S3 bucket. So I will go to S3 and look for my S3 bucket. And I have it here and it's the access is public, so it's normally accessible. My website is accessible by www.mytest2022.cf and also by the non www domain. So it 
it's something what we need to solve. I will just test this, so I will go to my domain. And as you can see, I have a furniture website here, in just, just for example. And as you can see, I have my domain right here. And I can add www dot and try to hit it. And as you can see, it works also. This is not necessary and actually bad for CO. So I will just create a Lambda function, which will redirect this domain. So without www to domain with www. So I will go to AWS management console and to Lambda and we will create our first Lambda at Edge function. So I will click on create function and this will be normal Lambda function, but we will just get to that. We will just change one necessary thing. So I will just name it to uh, lambda, lambda. And Node.js we can use 14 for instance, 14 version. And under permission, it is necessary, we need to use special execution role which is already created for us. So I will just find Lambda. And here is service row Lambda at Edge. I will choose this one and click on create function. And our function will be created. And we will just need the necessary code here. So I will just go and copy it here so this is my code and as you can see there are two things which you need to change if you want to use it the one thing is here it's your domain without www and here you will need to change this part with your domain name and this is everything. I can just click on deploy and just wait for the successful update. And before going any further, I will just want to make sure that you know that AWS Lambda at Edge has to be in North Virginia region. So this function, which we will use for Lambda at Edge, it has to be in North Virginia. So I will now click on add trigger and we will find CloudFront. If you are not in the right region, you will not see CloudFront here. And I will click on deploy to Lambda at Edge. And I will choose my CloudFront distribution and the main cage behavior, which actually means that it works for everything in CloudFront. And I will choose the viewer request here and confirm my deploy of Lambda at Edge and click on deploy. And this will take some time. So you will have to wait till it will be distributed around every edge in CloudFront. And how to know this? We will go to CloudFront and look to last modified here and it will be in the deploying status till it will be enabled and it will be fine so wait a couple of minutes and after a couple of minutes it's modified and ready to go so how to check this we can check our domain so i will just write like this dot cf and just check if it's 
www and I will try to remove it and hit it once again and as you can see it's redirected the right way and I can also use some tool for this just for the check so I will use this redirect checker and click on analyze and as you can see it's redirecting by 301 status to our ww domain this this is actually written in our lambda h function and as you can see it works so this is everything basically but i just want to make sure that you understand one thing if you if i go to lambda again and open my function you will see that the trigger is is not here you will find it in versions and go to first version here and as you can see you will find every set setting here if you need to find it and if you need to delete this lambda function it's actually not that easy because it's deployed to our cloud from distribution so i can just show you what, what is necessary to do this i will just try to delete it and click on delete and as you can see uh, the lambda was unable to delete this function and it's because it's deployed to our cloudfront distribution so i will show you where to find our lambda function in cloudfront so i will go back to cloudfront and to my distribution and click on behaviors and here as you can see it's behavior for for every thing in cloudfront and I will just click on edit and go down to function association and as you can see here is our lambda edge function and R name of this function and if I just select no association and click on save changes our function will not be associated with this cloud from distribution anymore but you will have to wait again to de deploy this modification on cloudfront before you will delete this function and our cloudfront distribution is now modified i will go to lambda and try to delete my function so choose this one and delete and delete and it's deleted fine if it's not possible uh, there could be some time needed so wait a couple of minutes couple of hours it can take some time till our lambda function can be deleted so wait just a little bit more and it should be okay so this is everything in aws management console we can go back to our presentation the pricing for lambda at edge is based on the number of requests you will pay 60 cents for a million requests and you will pay for function duration for instance if you use lambda with 128 megabytes of memory <coughs> You will pay one sixth millionth of a dollar for every second, and it's measured with a granularity of 50 milliseconds. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel, or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.